Once upon a time, in a desert far, far away, there used to be a belly dancing half genie girl named Shantae. I'm cringing so bad. You're such a bad narrator. But I, I hate to break it title, to you, but this is just not working out. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Possibly one of my favorite games to come out of 2014, I want to say. Wait, wh how did you change the backgrounds? I... Once you beat the background, once you beat, ba beat the background. Yeah, I bet <laughs> you would beat it. it to the background. Once you beat the game. <laughs> once you beat the game. I notice a trend with our videos. <laughs> they either start off. Like, super lame, or they start off super bad. Like, there's no in-between. <laughs> yeah, once you beat the game uh, during doing different things, either just a normal run, speed run, 100% run, 100% speed run, you unlock different wallpapers. So once you hit the star at the beginning of the... Uh, uh, at the title screen, you can change the background. Oh, cool. So this is the third title in the Shantae series. Still waiting on Half Genie Hero. Same uh, on. Really looking forward to that. And I recorded this possibly last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been waiting around way too much to like actually do this game. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I originally wanted to like do um, what was it Risky's Revenge? Yeah. I mi I mix up the titles a lot, but. Yeah, we were originally. I I wanted you to like do uh, Risky's Revenge because that was my first Shanta game, but that just wasn't the case. I guess I'm gonna go backwards. Well, I here. just love this game so much. You can play Risky's Revenge if you want. I played. I remember. I. Da da da. Da 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 da. da. All right. Um. I'm going to have to start every single video from now on just talking about how much I love the music to this game because this might because this might be one of the best soundtracks to a video game in like a while. Yeah. I love everything about this game. You know what? I'll say this much. I'm glad this game didn't cop out and go for a ship tune soundtrack because I'm going to be honest here, I'm sick of the retro aesthetic. Maybe it's just me having a bias because you know ship tune and I'm fucking done with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's not going to go over well with people who listen to my music, but no, I'm I'm glad that this game Huzzah, it's Cuddle Town's Guardian Judy. Get real me here. I can't fight the entire army by myself. <laughs> what is this, this guy? He looks like a baby. <laughs> no, oh, but uh, if there's, I have a few I irks. I love the dialogue in this game. I have a few irks with this game, but you know, when it comes to like, I for, I I've played them all. Uh, this thus far, I've played the the one on the Game Boy. I haven't color. played the GBA version or Game Boy version. The GBA was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> and turned into Risky's Revenge. Uh, G um, the no, GBC game. Stop! Games. Stop! Let me talk. <laughs> This is this is my part where I talk about games before <laughs> and after. No, um, the first game was um, a bit more on the open side. is is a very open ended game, and it it was kind of like Castlevania two in a lot of it was kind of like if Castlevania two, but slightly better. It was still you know a very flawed game. The music was kind of annoying. It was not the best game in the world. Let's face it. It was the f their first time. It was still a very cool game. But it, it was you still very You can ignore those jars, by the way, if you're full on health, because that's all they ever have. <laughs> Who the fuck puts, like, human hearts in jars? Well, they're cartoon hearts. No, <laughs> but what is he, what does she do with the hearts? Well, to uh, be fair, what so are PPs in Pokemon? Like, what the hell is a PP? How do you measure it? <laughs> wow, that didn't come uh, out right. Uh, uh, <laughs> that without going into, P into, like, R rating. <laughs> R rated. Okay, um... And then Risky's Revenge was originally Game Boy Advance title, but honestly, Risky's Revenge, when I first played it, I played it when I was sick. Go, 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 Pat. I, I first played it when I was sick as hell. Like, I actually needed, like, a game, and I got it on Steam. I don't know why, but it's... This is a trend with Shantae. For some reason, my antivirus picked it up and almost blocked it on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but I managed to bypass it and still played it. It's a very short game. Uh, sh uh, Risky's Revenge is quite short, and not not. I mean, you could put a lot of hours into it because there's a lot of collectibles, but overall the story is very lacking. Like it's it, if you how do, I, how do I put this? It feels very empty. 
in my opinion. It's very, it's a very, very lacking game. I wish it just had more stuff in it. Other than that, it's an entirely, entirely, you entirely decent game. You can stand here and just only get hit once. <laughs> wow. Anyways, it's 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 an okay game, but you know, it's it's still fun, but it's just it's just okay, I guess. And then I got the uh, Pirate's Curse, and I was like. I liked Risky's Revenge. I'm gonna get Pirate's Curse. I got it on and my PC. I love Pirate's Curse. Now, now it's time for you to shut up and let me just gush. But I want to. I want to talk about a story I have with this game. I got it on Steam. My antivirus blew up, like completely. <laughs> it was like this uh, Trojan, uh, and I was like, what? Like this can't. This Wait, can't for, be What have you done? So guess what I did. Um, I tried playing it. I okay, okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I wake up. It's gone. Screw your safe. So basically, my antivirus hated this game. <laughs> I tried it again. I closed it down. It got removed again. I had to install it three times. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm refunding this. So I refunded it and got it on my Wii U instead. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear the... Dancer, I guess, aren't you? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> if like, you, shit, he kind of got me. If you hear some <laughs> random piano notes in the background, that's because my dad is playing the piano upstairs. My dad. <laughs> I'm from Philadelphia. I'm dead. No, that's Brooklyn accent. Sorry. Anyways, uh, it's time for me to go. Banjo Tooie ripoff. It has enemy subtitles. That was a Banjo Tooie thing. <laughs> Yeah, well, this game just does it a little better, so... How does it do it better? In that game, it's more stylized. It doesn't look like a fucking generic font. I don't care. It's what they say. Also, here's an issue I have with the Shantae games. I never used the items. I never found a use for them. I just always forgot they existed. Oh, you're going to see me use them in this game. In Risky's Revenge, I, I, I used the, the spiky ball thing, like, three times. And that was, like, the only items I ever used outside of healing. In this game... I, I always forgot, like, why do they exist? Well, why can't they just be pickups? Get good, son, and get ready to feel the magic. <laughs> get good, ha ha ha. You don't like this runs. part of the game. Shante, there, see? I'm doing extra damage to him with the fight ball. No, I just I just find it, it just disrupts the game. Like, I can understand that for... For, um... Ow. Metroid. When you want to equip something. But, like, in this game, it's this equipment. It, it's straight up items. Item consumables, and it, it's just, it's, I think it's annoying. Are you done yet? <laughs> yeah. Are you done? <laughs> yeah, let's listen to the <laughs> piano in the background. Because I love, I love all the items in this game. Pike balls, super pike balls, monster milk, super monster milk. The That's, that sounds super creative, dude. After That's you've like... played the game as much as I have, there, there is a good use for every single item in this game. Some speed running tactics? Uh, yeah, you're gonna see some of those here too, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I've recorded this. I was live streaming Super Metroid just last night, and one of the things I told my the, the person I was streaming with, Nick, is that I couldn't... Is uh, Super Metroid is possibly one of the most perfect games I've ever played, and as in, I don't think there was anything I could find to complain about. I have the same feelings towards this game. <laughs> I have one I thing about Super I Metroid could I don't like. Anything about in this game. Nothing. Every single frame of this game I can praise somehow. I hate the UI. The UI? It looks really, really, really bad. Like the the text boxes like it's supposed to be like I know, uh, Risky's Revenge is this too. It had like it had like the pixel stuff and it also had you know the pop in characters and oh, stuff. Oh, the artwork. Oh, the artwork is so much better here, and I love everyone. I'm survived. gonna disagree. I think the artwork here is really Well, you're weird. wrong. I think it looks <laughs> weird to me. I don't know why. I, I thought the artwork in the other game was better, but... The artwork for this game is made by Inti Creates. Hmm. The last one was by WayForward themselves. I just... And the Inti Create stuff is just so much better than, uh, than the, um, the WayForward stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> One thing I don't like, I, 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 I said this game, before. Shantae doesn't have a bathtub. I don't like the UI. I think it looks too, like, I don't know. It just looks really cheap, in my opinion. 
You see, guys, I'm going to be praising the fuck out of this game, so John has taken a conscious effort that whatever Patrick says that he likes about it, he just has to complain about it a little bit just to offset. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a hilarious joke, booby trap. Ha, 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 and even spelled yeah, it that but way. When it comes from Risky, it's sort of funnier because she's always so serious. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know, I just... <laughs> It's a, like I'm, I'm sorry if I come off as negative, but this game it's not bad at all. Like I I I'm probably gonna go back to it after I'm done with the whole oh shit. Jesus Christ! Can you turn down the piano? <laughs> Every fucking episode we record, there's always one thing that's off, and then this I episode. I haven't heard anything. Oh, oh god, it's done. Never mind. I'm gonna yeah, stop. Yeah, when I, when I first bought this game, I actually didn't play it for like I want to say two months, but then I finally sat down and played it. And during that month alone, after I, I had played the game, I had probably played it about between a dozen and two dozen times. That's sad. I fucking <laughs> love this game. No, 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 it's a good game. I think I like the art in... Uh, I love the art. In, uh, the in art. Half Genie music. Hero. I love the controls, far. I love the bosses, I love the enemies, I love the levels. I, I wasn't talking about, about the skin this time, I, I, I psyched you. I was what? talking about the, the, the game that's coming up. Um, that's coming out uh, this Half year. Genie Hero? This year or the next year, I forgot. Uh, I think they said November of this year. I hope. Cacklebats! I'm going to be playing that game and uh, Sun and Moon. Alright, so what you guys are going to be seeing here from me is a 100% is an attempt to a 100% speedrun. I do end up messing a few parts here and there. I remember... Having some problems with mug bugs, boss, I think. But that's about it. Maybe mud bog and frostbite. But everything else I do try to do pretty quickly. And you're going to see the whole game. I get everything. Oh, and the best place to grind for money. I like the music in uh, Scuttle Town. I love the music everywhere. <laughs> Isn't this the song with like the the, the wobbles? You know what's actually one song I really like, but I never fucking hear. The game over theme. <laughs> I actually really like the game over theme, but you never. I I've never heard it. I bought the sound. I bought the entire soundtrack to this game on Bandcamp. I, I think I donated like ten or fifteen bucks to Jake. No, no, was it Jake Kaufman? Yeah, Jake, yeah, Kaufman. Jake Kaufman. Who, who, dude, you are fucking Jesus with he's, this music. He's, I love he's it. great. He's he's um he started out um uh, his um El Elias what is it called Elias is um Vert and uh, yes. he he's uh, he used to be a pretty guy in the um, pretty big guy in the uh, he's demo done this scene and Shovel Knight as two of his biggest titles. Shovel Knight is the better game. Actually, uh, no, I'd probably prefer, rather play this game than Shovel Knight. Yeah, I prefer Pirate's Curse. It's shorter. At least I think it is. Uh, shovel. The, my problem with Shovel Knight is that it's it's it, it, that it's for the, the kind. can go on for quite a while. Yeah, that's my problem. It's 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 less. The thing is, in this game, it's like it, it's it's more like an exploration kind of game. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's like so a, to leave Scuttle Town, you have to save. You have to talk to um, to uh, Sky here, get her library card, and I think then you can leave and get some pretty good dialogue from the guards outside of Scuttle Town. <laughs> I don't I don't like how the background doesn't mesh with like the it looks blurred. The character portraits. No, it looks blurred compared to the sprites. Well, the back. The backs look much more hand drawn. Hmm. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it's not a bad looking game. It still looks great, but yeah. oh, it looks fantastic. Especially character animations. So, anyways, the music. Um, if anyone wants to, and I would highly, ooh, nice lobster tail, and I would highly recommend it. Go to Bandcamp, donate some sort of money to this guy. No, 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 no. Go to my there. Bandcamp. No, please. fuck you. Get this <laughs> game soundtrack. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, my music is shit. Jake is better. You can promote yourself on your own channel. This is Lettuce Gaming. 
Yeah, we're gonna keep that name for an eternity. <laughs> Let us gaming. No, but um, here's our heart squids. Uh, get four of these, bring it to the squid smith, watch her mutilate those things, and you get an extra heart. Yeah, that is pretty disgusting, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, I. The first time I I saw the uh, squid smith <laughs> kill the uh, the heart squids, I laughed out loud. It's so you, over you're the too top. Easily it's amused. funny. Yeah, but this game is so like bright and colorful and just uh the sense of humor for this game is just goofy it knows it's goofy it knows it's over the top and it has fun with that and i love that it's a very self-aware game you know what i i'm oh, especially the squid baron oh i can't wait till we get to oh, him shit. <laughs> i dropped i dropped something wait um you dropped the mic no yeah mic dropped this game sucks <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I'm not gonna like this game. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna keep going back to this game to like the end of time. Way forward, you have before you die, and before yeah. before you die, I'm gonna come into like the the hospital room, and I'm gonna come in with your Wii. I'm like one final it's speed time. run. <laughs> 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 oh, John, will you play for me and my arthritis-riddled bones? <laughs> <laughs> we can do like a, an awesome games done quick. The Super Metroid run. <laughs> I will. You you move. I I do the attacking. <laughs> I never saw yes, that, please. but I heard of it. The the two guys who did the Super Metroid run together with uh, they held two parts of the controller. That was amazing. Wait, they actually did that? Yeah. Oh, I need to find that. Also, Shantae vo Shantae's voice is adorable. He barely even talks. Yeah, but. The way she said hi was a very enthusiastic hi. Anybody could do that. No, only Christina V, I think it is, the voice <laughs> of Shantae. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Fuck. Also, she, she, Christina V not only voices Shantae here, she also sung the... Um, she... Squid Baron, oh my god, this guy's the best. Post-boss syndrome. I like that. Uh, just... <laughs> yeah, he's great. I He was the first boss in Risky's Revenge. And now he's trying to avoid being a filler boss. <laughs> I love his dialogue. Anyways, the, um... Shit, what was I? You royal sewers. Uh, uh, Christina V, right. She say, she sings Dancing Through the Danger, I think it's called, or Dancing Through the Fire, which is the main theme for... I remember you Hero. said you said dan Dancing Through the Fire once or something, trying to lead up to the series, and you fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, I did. I like I'm how okay you teased that. on the official um, Let Us Game into Twitter, you teased this game like... A month ago, <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> I blame I blame John for everything. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, that's something way, I like. I like how instead of just calling it the Royal Sewers, it's called it's Ye Royal <laughs> Ye Royal Sewers. Yeah, it's good. I don't know why the background reminds me of Rayman. Too. So hang on, to, uh, to the right of this room, uh, the big long room to where we just were. At the top right corner, where you need the quadruple jump you can crouch and attack the side with this little platform go in there and there is a boss battle with the only room in the game or only two places in the game where you'll hear risky's theme which is called do you even whip A hilarious meme jake kaufman has the best titles for his <laughs> for his songs yeah very funny uh -huh. no <laughs> Better than better than anything I we can. We love make, Burning honestly. Town. Have you heard his? Um, he actually does um stuff. Uh, he's I don't know if he's still like doing anything, but like outside of game soundtracks. But he's done some pretty good um music outside of that. Like yeah, his FX albums are pretty good. No, I, I haven't, but I do want. But I do want to check those out. Yeah, they're good chip tune albums. So um. 
uh, every every video of this game is going to feature just the entirety of one island at a time, except for Tanline, but that's because that level is so ridiculously long. Isn't that like the first? No, that's the second. That's hang on, fourth. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Cut long with some hair, but um. No, no. Every every single video, every single episode is going to feature just one island at a time, except for Tanline, which is going to which has to be cut up into two videos. But that's because the first half is all the um, that's that's stupid uh stealth section, and the next one has to be the dungeon. Yeah. I don't know uh, the background in the uh, you. Royal sewers you reminded Royal me. <laughs> it remind the background kind of reminded me of um, that prison part in the Fairy Blade in Rayman 2. It's probably a game we're gonna cover at some point. Oh right, I'm also gonna be doing quite a bit of editing, a lot more than what you see in John's videos. Oh, <laughs> what the? Okay, to be fair, I kind of roasted you like twice, so Where? I deserved that. I had it coming. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, because there is quite a bit of backtracking in this game, so I cut out as much of the backtracking as possible. Yeah. Or you can do especially like me, just stand still at one part for like two minutes while we just kind of awkwardly kind of, uh, are you going to move? <laughs> <laughs> I made sure this video, I made sure this series is going to keep moving, so every single screen is going to be something new, hopefully. Yeah. No, but, but here, here we yeah. go back because you're forced to go back. I was originally wanting to, do, uh, speaking of Rayman 2, I originally wanted to do that game on my own channel, like a Let's Play, but then I realized nobody fucking watches my Let's Plays. Wait, play what game? The game I mentioned, uh, Rayman 2, I was, but we will probably, oh. I'll probably record that game. One I thought game. you said, yeah, you said you wanted to do that that game alone, right? Yeah, but I think, I just, and then I just realized that, you know, I don't really get much, like... I think people on my channel just want shorter videos, and for that kind of series, I don't know if that would work. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is just doing it on here. The only problem I have is that, unfortunately, uh, the quality is not going to be that great because you basically I'm I'm recording the Dreamcast version. Yeah, you need something to offset that, so you're kicking me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I gotta get that. Um, there's there's a recording thing you can get. Uh, there's that component. Cable, oh, can I go back to Sky as soon as you return to Scuttletown and talk to her. And she will give you 100 free monies. Monies? Or munis. However munis. you want to pronounce it. It Just like in Kingdom Hearts, they spell money differently here, which is kind of which is kind of funny. 100 monies. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those two things work. Well, Kingdom Hearts spells it M-U-N-N-Y. Okay, I'm just going to be an asshole and say I've never played Kingdom Hearts. The only experience I have with it is a, a <laughs> old classmate that I used to know who just talked about it endlessly. I was, I was like, what kind of game yeah, is this? Silky Cream, recover. It's, as long as you can get 250 monies, you'll be good. Get those three items and you're set. I like how the boat is animated in the background. Everything in this game is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting the Rayman 3 vibes now suddenly. Oh god, I'm just referencing that series over and over again. Huh? I wonder if that could Are you be looking anything. forward to it? Dude, that's like one of the best video game series because it's so consistently good. Well, this game this, this series is consistently yeah, good. If yeah, anything, it's, it's consistently, consistently better. good, but not gr a Pirate No, no, no. Pirate's Curse is pretty great. The other two games are good, but they're not great. Uh, y yeah, I don't think anybody is saying the best of things about <laughs> the first Shantae game. The, uh, Risky's Revenge is definitely, is definitely improved, and it's good, and I do like it, but if you're gonna say, let's play a Shantae game, the first thing I'm always gonna jump to is... Who the fuck goes up to somebody and says, hey, let's play the single-player game together? I mean, unless you want to share the controller. Well, I mean, like, if you just want to say, like, I just want to experience the game, or, like, I want to sit and chat with you while we play a game in the background yeah sure 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 why not because that's basically what do we're doing i played the game and we're just sitting and chatting and insulting each other at yeah you. <laughs> yeah that sounds about right <laughs> fuck you john fuck you patrick <laughs> yeah 
Uh, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Take care. Tell us what you think, because I'm really looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this for a while. Yeah. A while, John. I've been waiting for this too damn long. <laughs> yeah, you, you truly have, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this because I think this game is good. I have a few things to say about it. Uh, yeah, so do I. Uh, you're gonna at the remember beginning of the next video. It's I love the soundtrack. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, have a fantastic day, and I'm gonna go and or get night. some groceries. All right, bye everybody. Bye.